Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate the balloon deploy from Just Goes 4. We are going to make the basic mechanic of attaching a balloon to an object using physics bodies and pin joints. Finally, we'll draw a very basic rope using immediate geometry. Okay, let's get started. In an empty project, we're going to create a 3D scene with a rigid body as the root node. I'm going to call it package and save it. After that, I want to add a collision shape and a mesh instance. I'm going to create a cube mesh with a size of 1. This is going to be the object picked up by the balloons. I'm giving the body a mass of 10. Create another scene and repeat the same process, with a sphere this time. Give it a mass of 3.5 and put gravity scale to minus 1. This is the balloon scene that I'm saving as balloon.tscn. Create a third scene named main. Add a CSG box to make the floor. And don't forget to check use collision. Add a camera. And add both the package and the balloon. Place the package on the floor and the balloon a bit higher in the air. Add a pin joint. And place it between the package and the balloon. Choose the package under node A and the balloon under node B. Uncheck exclude nodes if you want the package and the balloon to be able to collide. Offset slightly the balloon and run the main scene. Ok, we see the balloon wants to go up and is attached to the package. It's not strong enough to lift the package yet, because of the weights we set previously. If you want only one balloon, you can set a weight bigger than the package. I want to use multiple balloons, so I'll keep it like that and add more balloons. Before that, add a spatial node as a child of the package. Move it slightly up, we're going to use that to spawn the balloon later. Now we want to add more, but we'll do it through a script, so add one to the main scene. We preload the balloon scene into a const variable named balloon. Under process, we instantiate a balloon and add it to the scene if we trigger the add action. We set its origin to the spawn point origin. We need to add this action, so under project, project settings, click on input map. Add two actions, called Add and Remove. Click the plus icon to choose an action. I'm going to use mouse left click to add and right click to remove. Now we instantiate a new pin joint and set its properties. Node A will be the instance path we just created, which is the new balloon, and node B is the package node path. We set it as a child of our scene. And finally we set its origin to the middle point between the balloon and the package. If we press the remove action, we get the nodes that are in the balloons group. We return if there's none, otherwise we remove the first one by calling Q3. Go to the balloon scene, select the root node and on the right under node, type balloons and add. This will put the object in this group. Now run the project and try clicking to add balloons. Once the total weight of the balloons is greater than the package, it will start to lift. And by removing balloons, the package will drop. One last final touch, we want to see the connections between the objects and we are going to use an immediate geometry node for that. Add one to the scene and call it draw line. At the end of the process function, we first create an array to hold the points. We take a reference to the draw line object in the variable ig. We make sure to clear the drawing before calling begin with primitive lines. We want to use primitive lines to create a line for every two vertices, as you can see from the docs. We loop through every balloon and append two points, one for the package origin and the other one for the balloon. After that, we loop through the points and add a vertex for each. Don't forget to call ig.end to finish the drawing. Alright, now if you run the project and add balloons, you'll see a line between each balloon and the package. I hope you find this interesting. Don't hesitate to share your project with me if you're doing something with this. You can add me on Twitter or in the comments below. You'll find all the sources on my GitHub, link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you later, bye!